Six hey there, seven. welcome to the show. Let's start off with you picking which game you want to play. Right, Showtime, people. Move it or lose it. While one degree actual temperature might not seem like that big. Oh my god, when you look at that contestant. Now, why don't you tell me how many people are going to be playing this game? A fine choice. Now, player one, why don't you type your name in? You know, you got anarchy. Where You're up, you player two. Hands? Type away. Well, uh, I put him into that special uh, standby booth over there. Standby Very booth? good. Player three, yeah, you know there. the drill. That, that's what a broom closet, Todd. Super. No. 45 no. seconds. Player one, you have the letter Q as your buzzer. Q as in squid. Player two, your buzzer is the letter B as in batch of bananas. And player three, you have the buzzer P. P like, uh, who ate my porridge? But when they have this 24 hours. Just put a little duct tape around it. It'll hold. One second. Okay, listen up. You're going to get a bunch of questions. If you think you know the answer, buzz in. Then type a one, two, three, or four, whichever answer you want. Or if it's a fill in the blank, just type in the answer. Ten. Good luck. Nine. Eight. Get rid of the death Seven. Count. Please sit. And five, black. four, three. Also available, My Little Split Personality and My Little Addiction. Hugo? Yeah, Hugo Boss. The fragrance. The world is getting smaller. Smell better. Hugo. It's time for the show where high culture and pop culture collide. Hi there. Welcome to the show. I should tell you now that this week's theme is trivia pot pie. That's right. Trivia with a flaky crust. No, no, no. Really, that's just our way of saying there is no theme this week. That's right. We just wrote a bunch of questions, and now you're going to sit there and enjoy them. Mm -hmm. You heard me. Enjoy them. It's not enough just to play them. Oh, no. You have to like them. You know why? Because I said so. All right, first I need to pass out some screws. Here you are, three shiny screws. Uh, not to offend you, but this is how you screw someone. If you want to force your name... Or we can just start playing the game. All right, pick a category. Question number one. We're calling this one, Get Down on Your Knees. $1,000 at stake on this one. See what you can do with this one. Boy, if I had a nickel for every time a devout Muslim is supposed to pray in a day, how much would I have at the end of the day? 15 cents, 25 cents, $1, or $10? It's all yours, player one. According to the law of the Quran, Muslims pray five times a day. So, I'd be earning a big old quarter by the end of each day. <laughs> Which is slightly more than I earned doing this. All right, I need a category. Well, what do we have here? Working 69 to 5. You get it right, I'm giving you $1,000. Pencils ready. Let's do it. If you had sex angular sex, how many different ways would you be doing it? 6, 16, 60, or 66? Player 3, have at it. Something sex angular has six angles, so you'd be doing it six ways to Sunday. Huh, think about that. Six different ways at about a minute 15 per position, that's almost... What? What? Time to pick a category. Answer question three. Well, what do we have here? Sucking the dirt out of life. And this one's worth $1,000. Hey, so you know how you can buy these uh, internet filters that make you think you can prevent your kids from finding all the smut that's on the web? I, I, no, no, they, they work, they work. 
suppose you wanted to filter out Carney Wilson's recent live internet broadcast. Which keyword would you probably need to add to your filter? Scalpel, prenup, catfight, or afterbirth? Player two, grab it! Brave lass that she is, Carney Wilson underwent surgery live on the internet to reduce the size of her stomach. Now, if anyone asks Carney if she's got guts, she can say yes and show them the pictures to prove it. Give me a category. Hallelujah! Bow your heads and pray to four. Here we have primetime takedown. You get this one, you pocket two thousand bucks. Well, it's been a long time coming, but the wait is finally over. That's right. The WWF SmackDown is here, baby. If Stone Cold Steve Austin loses the WWF SmackDown Championship because he literally turns into stone, who is probably his opponent? Stacy the Harpy Jackson, Rosie the Minotaur Bud, Tina the Gorgon Smith, or Debbie the Kraken Jones? Player one, do it! Player one, who do you want to screw? Player two, you gotta answer it. Lame. Player one, player three, you want it? It's all you, player three. Gotta answer it, player one. No, and I'm not very harpy to see you. Player three, it's all up to you. Player three, have at it. The Gorgons are three mythological sisters who turned anyone who looked directly at them into stone. And if you think those girls are tough in the ring, you ought to try breaking up with one of them. They give a whole new meaning to the term icy stare. That's the end of round one. We'll be back with round two right after these messages. To learn more about an advertiser, hit any key on your keyboard. We'll show you more information after you leave the game. Acrophobia, the hilarious word game that puts your creativity on the line. Which do you prefer, playing games or waiting to play games? If you need speed, you need X2 modem technology from U.S. Robotics. Just 28K? No way. Check out the X2 modem. Why wait? Welcome back. It's time to play round two, where the values are doubled. All right, I hope you're all together, because we're going. All right, pick the category. I believe this one is called Damp Popularity. And this one's going to be worth $4,000. Adds up, here it comes. Imagine peer pressure affected you the same way air pressure affects the weather. If your friends started giving you lower amounts of pressure, how would you most likely react? You would burst into tears, you would hyperventilate, you would get the chills, or you would be able to live your own life? Take a shot, player two. Player two, who's gonna get the screw? Gotta answer it, player one. You know, everyone else gives the right answer. I don't know what makes you think you're better than everybody else. Player two, player three, who wants it? Player two, go! Low air pressure always precedes some kind of precipitation or rainstorm. Just as high peer pressure always precedes your friends making you run naked across the football field. <laughs> or maybe that was just me. All right, I need a category. We're a bunch of hits and we love the question six. For 
your viewing pleasure. A McBeal to go, please. And this one's worth $4,000. Flex those fingers, here it comes. Where would a TV show called Ellie McBeal Street take place? In a fish market law office in New York, in a brothel law office in New Orleans, in a palace law office in London, or in a blues bar law office in Memphis? Take a shot, player two. A fish market law office, no, but it certainly would make the show more interesting because then the characters would be having illicit affairs with slimy, sexy fish. I like fish. Player one, player three, you want it? It's all you, player three. We'll chalk this one up to experience. What do you say, player one? Player one! Beale Street in Memphis, Tennessee is home to the famous Beale Street Blues. <laughs> yep, Ellie McBeal Street is a great show. I mean, the plots don't make a lot of sense, but they always cut to this woman in the bar singing the blues. That, uh, wait, uh, you know what, that's, that's Ellie McBeal, isn't it? I'm sorry, now I'm confused. Time to pick a category. This category is known as, She's Mighty Mighty, Mad at You. How does $4,000 grab you? Okay, you know that song. She's a brick house. Imagine your girlfriend really is a brick house. If you're an insensitive jerk, which of the following procedures would you thoughtlessly suggest she have done? A little laminating, a little wainscoting, a little drywalling, or a little tuck pointing? Player two, grab it! Tuck pointing is a quick and relatively painless procedure where the crumbling grout between bricks is replaced with new, firmer grout. <laughs> Although keep in mind, those buildings that you see in architectural magazines, <laughs> they're not real. Give me a category. Hey, stress cut with lime sore. It's time for a Tinker Lake Test Drum. Take a look at this gibberish category. Missing body parts attract attention. The opening value of this gibberish question is 10,000 bucks. Now check this out. As the time disappears, so does the money. So the sooner you buzz in, the better. Okay, settle down and see if you can tell me what this rhymes with. Black gland, mateen, gawk. All right, how about a clue? It's a kid's story. It's all you, player three. Type in your answer and hit return. Yeah, I know that the giant said he smelled the blood of an Englishman, but um, I think it was the smell of those magical beans that gave Jack away. You know what I'm talking about? All right, I need a category. Aloha, question number nine. I believe this one is called Broadway Bound and Gagged. How does $4,000 grab you? One question coming right up. If Jane Eyre were turned into a musical, what song would Jane sing for the big closing number? There's a pain in my heart spelled TB. Being a nun-nun is lots of fun fun. She's dead, you're blind, and I'm in love. Or Siberia's just a teardrop away. Player one, do it. At the end of Jane Eyre, Mr. Rochester is blinded in the fire that kills his wife, and Jane marries him. <laughs> they had to change the part about Mr. Rochester's arm getting burned, because with the makeup on, he couldn't do the jazz hands. That's the end of round two. We'll be right back with round three after this. Vote.
What sport lets you wear the coolest clothes? Vote. Which national news anchor baby talks during commercial breaks? Vote. Democracy depends on you. Well, beer A has sort of a stale, skunky, yeasty flavor. Disgusting. Nauseating. Try beer B. Okay, uh... Now that's fresh! That's Budweiser. Get out of here! I don't believe it! Tasting is believing. When I tell my husband, he's gonna totally freak! Welcome back! Time to play round three. And to get you started, one screw apiece. Use it in good health. You ready? Good. We're starting. All right. Pick a category. All right. Player two and three, step aside, because player one's going on a dis or dat. The category for this Sister Act question is Orgiastic Art. Okay, listen closely. I'm going to read off the names of seven very respectable actors. And for each one, I'd like you to tell me if they were in the Stanley Kubrick masterpiece Spartacus or the Bob Guccione porn epic Caligula. As he oh, you already know how to play. Fine, you got 30 seconds. You ready? Let's dance. Malcolm McDowell in Spartacus or Caligula? Tony Curtis. Kirk Douglas, <laughs> Helen Mirren, <laughs> Lawrence Olivier, <laughs> John Gilgood, <laughs> one more, Peter O'Toole, <laughs> that'll do it, perfect, and with time to spare no less, here you go, congratulations, let's move on, time to pick a category, it's 11 minus 1 plus 2 minus 1, it's 11. For your enjoyment, X plus Y equals TV? I'll give you 4,000 clams for this bad boy. Okay, don't be afraid, but you're going to need your math skills on this one, because it's an algebra question. And your typing skills, because it's a fill in the blank, too. Here goes. X minus Y equals two guys and a girl. If X equals the show's original title, what does Y equal? Player two, go for it. Type in your answer and then hit return. They dropped a pizza place but kept the two guys and a girl. Now, if we could just get them to drop the two guys and the girl, the show would be perfect. Give me a category. Well, 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 let's delve into question 12. This category is known as Bam Pow Genuflect. You want 6,000 bucks? Give me your right answer. Okay, freaks. Imagine this little bat scenario. Batman and Robin are in a bank that's been robbed. Batman deduces the thief must be the Pope. What would be most appropriate for Robin to say? Holy sea, Batman. Holy Roman Empire, Batman. Holy Grail, Batman. Or holy own subsidiary, Batman. Play a three, do it. Player three, who would you like to screw? Gotta answer it, player one. What are you talking about? There are no holes in the Pope's grail. Although, wouldn't that be funny? A little dribble grail? <laughs> player two, player three, who wants it? Player two, go! Player three, give me an answer. See ya. Player two, now's the time. Take a shot, player two. Now, the Holy Roman Empire was never run by the Pope. Or so the Vatican would have us believe. Ha! Oh, stunning. Try this one. The Holy See is the official name for the office and jurisdiction of His Holiness, the Pope. But I'll tell you, if the Pope is going to be one of Batman's arch rivals, he's going to have to start wearing a little more makeup and learn to laugh like this. 
I love doing that. It's so cool. All right, pick a category. Look at the green. It's that team. The category is skip the surgeon and save big bucks. Heads up, this one's going to be 6,000 bucks. Say, have you heard the news? The latest thing in plastic surgery for the lips is called alloderm. Oh, I'd love to try it, but I just don't have the cash. Oh, there's got to be a way to get those Harry Hamlin pouty lips. Suppose I want to save money and do my own lip enhancement at home. If I were to make a cheap alloderm knockoff, where would I most likely go for the ingredients? A volcano, a pond, a graveyard, or a farm? All yours, player one. Player one, who do you want to screw? Player three, give me an answer. A farm. Yeah, that's great. Then my kisser will smell like ass. Player one, player two, who wants it? Player two, go. Yet another medical breakthrough. Alloderm, which is used to make lips look fuller, is made from the skin of dead people. <laughs> oh, man. These lips look great. And we have lips wiped out. All right, I need a category. For your viewing pleasure, solar-powered itty-bitty titty committee. I got $2,000, says you don't know this one. Hey, you know what used to crack me up? The way you could write words on your calculator if you turned it upside down, like boobless. <laughs> oh, come on, like you never. What number do you have to punch in your calculator to spell boobless? Oh, hey, if you'd like a hint, just, you know, turn your computer monitor upside down. Player one, do it! On a calculator, if you turn the number 5537800 upside down, it looks just like boobless. <laughs> Yet another example of how technology has enhanced our lives. All right, that's the end of round three. We're going to be right back with the Jack Attack. So in the middle of the movie, and I'm like, oh my god, the good character is the one. Kind of makes talking seem overrated, doesn't it? Air crisps. One taste, and you'll be back. Introducing a revolutionary concept in web design, AirForce.com. Enjoy one-stop shopping for Air Force wallpaper, screensavers, e-cards, and games, all absolutely free. This is an unlimited time offer, so act now. Visit www.airforce.com. Welcome to the Jack Attack. When you see two words... All right, then. Let's fast forward and get right to the good part. Here comes your clue. Adam Sandler math. Gee, how much math do you need when you count everything in millions? And I know what makes your mothers happy. Let's look at the scores. Player two's got it. Man, player two, you won that game by the skin of your teeth. Good thing you don't brush every day. Hey, don't forget, four out of five dentists recommend...
Howdy, kids. This is Pecos Bucky here, telling you to tune in next week for another exciting episode of You Don't Know Jack the Next Show. Woohoo! <laughs> and they didn't even pay me to say this. Woohoo! Fantastic show, people. Nice one this time. All right, get those commercials going. And uh, Cookie, could you ask the contestants if they want to do this again? If you guys are interested in another I game, just let me know. Yeah, all right. Every time he asks you to go out and just see a movie or anything oh, like that. Oh, well, you know, that's the way you want it. You know, it's going to be...